Hi, and welcome to Walk Away Meals with JC. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard. We're going to be cooking an awesome stir fry with quinoa and to top it off with some shrimp. All these vegetables that you see here are all from my garden. So we're in my backyard, the garden's right behind me, and we're going to have some awesome food today. We're going to make it fun and enjoyable for you. A little bit of comedy and also a fitness tip included in the show. So the walk right here, as I said, is about preheated to 120 degrees. And we're going to start off with some of the actual vegetables that I have collected in the last few days and actually today. This is really awesome. So we're going to start with cutting a zucchini. I call this guy Bubba Zook. This is one of the zucchinis I got out of the garden. And actually, this one is Grandpa Zook right here. So I'm just doing my curls while I'm uh, cooking the zucchini. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, we're going to start with this pre-cut zucchini that I was already working on today. The zucchinis are actually about 15 inches in length. So man, when I'm picking these things up, I'm really kind of uh, thinking about, wow, shoot, this is a big zucchini. Let's get back to the zucchini. So we're going to start with cutting the zucchini. I had to cut the zucchini in eight, about 3 eighths of an inch. And make sure you're using a cutting board and a clean knife and a clean cutting board surface. And watch your fingers out there. If you're not like a master chef like me, watch your fingers. I'm just kidding. I'm not really a master chef. Actually, during the day, I work as an exercise physiologist. And at night, I'm a comedian in training. So I'm always trying to be funny. I have a joke for you. What kind of bathing suit does a gardener wear? A zucchini. Yeah, that's right. A zucchini. It's new on the market. Yeah, that joke, I gotta squash that one, I think. It's not that good. So while this is, wok is heating up, I take the whole zucchini, and then what I do is I try to go right down the middle, if I can. There we go. Excellent. So we'll chop that up. I have to put the, the most raw vegetables, that are pretty much the most uh, dense vegetables in first. And then I put in the leafier vegetables after where that cook a lot faster. So we'll start with the zucchini right here. Big chunks. You can make them smaller if you like. Ooh, hear that simmer. That is awesome. For you watching out there, if you like other vegetables, you can pick whatever vegetables you like. If you're growing anything in your garden, can be in your stir fry. So zucchini is really easy to grow and also very tasty. And you want to cook this until it gets tender and slightly soft. You can eat it a little more crunchy. If the more raw, the better, the more vitamins you have. But also, go for your preference. But I like to have it slightly soft. And if you're missing some teeth out there, make sure you make it, some, make it nice and soft for yourself. So it'll be much easier to eat. You know how it is around here. Some people are missing their teeth. That's all good, though. Next, I have to start with a pepper. This is actually a green pepper from the garden. This is a big Bertha. I call her Betsy. So Betsy, we're going to cut up Betsy today. She's sacrificing herself to be in our meal. So uh, let's cut up Betsy. I usually start with some vertical strokes here, the outside of the pepper. And you can keep the seeds, actually, for next year. Will you hear that sizzle? Look at that. There we go. I'm just cutting them into like small squares. There we go. I'm going to use about half of Betsy right now. Save the rest for later. Look at that. That smells really good. Fresh peppers are always the best. All my vegetables are 100% organic. Meaning that there's no pesticides or nothing put onto the plants at all. All I use is natural remedies in my garden to keep the pest away like lemon basil, different types of plants that the insects do not like. Like citronella is not one of them as well. Okay, so I wish everybody could be here in the audience and smell this delicious pepper. Mmm, it is so good. Eating fresh is the best way to go. But today I also do have other foods that are from the supermarket. My quinoa, for instance, tried growing that, but that was not happening for me. 
So what I did is I went to Aldi Supermarket and got myself some quinoa. So it's Q-U-I-N-O-A, quinoa. And this grows as a plant as well, and you're eating the seeds, like a rice or a pasta. And I have other spices here we're going to use in, to uh, boost this meal. Minced garlic. So I tried growing garlic this year. Didn't go well. Too much rain and Mother Nature wasn't on my side. And also Himalayan sea salt. Add a little bit more to it. And also five spice seasoning, which has ginger in it, which is really great for your stomach as well. And some black pepper to kind of kick it up a little bit more. And we're going to add some shrimp at the end. I also have fresh basil, actually fresh basil, cilantro, and lemon basil that I'm going to cut up and also garnish with at the end of the meal. Cherry tomatoes, we're going to add in there as well. Let's pop in some cherry tomatoes. Throw a handful in there. Not worried about measuring with the cherry tomatoes. There we go. If you don't like cherry tomatoes, don't add them. But I grow, I'm growing about 30 different vegetables in my garden right now. And we'll put the spice in there in a little bit. The herbs. I also got snap peas. These are great. Got peas in the snap right here. So snap peas are excellent. If you let the snap peas grow for too long, they actually make real peas, which I didn't know until recently. So I thought it was just a coating with little tiny tiny balls inside, but no, they're actually real peas growing inside a snap pea. Which is good. Learn something day, new, new every day. Let's mix this up a little bit. Okay, ah, oh, the one thing I gotta add is some liquid. That's what we gotta do. Always gotta add some liquid to make it steam in the wok. So what I have here is about a quarter cup of lemon juice. I wanted to buy some fresh lemons, but they didn't look too good. So I settled for lemon juice. And also, I want to kick it up a notch a little bit. I have a little bit left over Pinot Grigio white wine. Hey, put a little bit in here. Some for you. Mmm. And some for me. That is great. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Awesome. Just add a little bit of water to dilute some lemon as well as the wine. Now we're going to add some onion. I got fresh onion from the garden as well. This meal is about 95%, I would say, from the garden. Another 5% is from the stores, so. There you go. It is awesome. Good. Very good. So if, you'd like, if you have an issue with onions and make you cry, just try to not... Uh, breathe in the vapor of the onion, if you can. These onions don't really make me cry, they're actually pretty good. This is white, this is a yellow onion from the garden. Very good. Okay. Hope you're enjoying the cooking show from the My Backyard. This is excellent. I do appreciate you tuning in. The show is called Walk Away Meals with the Walk with JC. There we go. Gotta make it fun. It's food, fun, and fitness. That's why I'm dressed this way. I got my workout shirt, and I got my Hawaiian pants, my Hawaiian shorts. I'm styling, you know that? I'm always styling. There we go. Gotta be in style when you're cooking. Look at that lemon juice, white wine, zucchini, cherry tomatoes, green peppers, snap peas. Mmm, that is, smells so good. Excellent. Now we're going to cut up some gypsy red pepper. Actually, gypsy pepper is kind of a small pepper, but it has a nice sweetness to it. Gypsy pepper. There we go. Let's see the close-up view of that. Gypsy pepper. There we go. And the seeds. You don't want to put the seeds in there. You just basically want to save the seeds for growing for next year. There we go. You can put some good music on when you're cooking. Good jam out. It's really good. Let's use this whole gypsy pepper. Don't want to waste anything. Good. Perfect. Voila. Look at that. Check it out. Yeah. I'm liking that. Mix it up a little bit as you add your ingredients. 
You could basically have all your ingredients pre-chopped, so it's much easier, but I wanted to cut them up for you to show how they looked before they were chopped up. Okay, let's go with a little bit of um, eggplant. These are mini eggplant. That's Ichabong eggplant. Cut those up. I'm not too worried about how they look. Just cut them into circles. Just cut straight down right there. Just toss them in. Look at that. I'm at about 130 degrees right now and my wok. This is actually an electric wok and I can put this anywhere. I can even tailgate with this in the back of my car. This is really good. Let's see how it smells. Just be creative out there when you're cooking. You can add whatever you have in your cabinet or whatever comes out of your garden. Even if you don't have a garden, just go to the store and buy whatever vegetables you like and put them in a stir fry. They do make pre-made stir fry packets, but I prefer to have uh, my own fresh vegetables or frozen. And you can do frozen as well, but fresh is the best if you can. And these are our fairy tale eggplants. This is a very unique eggplant. As you can see, it's purple with white. And it's a small mini size as well. Fairy tale eggplant. Look at that. The story tale with these eggplants. So I want this cook a little bit and cut my fairy tale eggplant. And then we'll be right back. This is Walk Away Meals with JC. And I'll see you after the break. People don't make this show possible. So uh, let's take uh, some time. Approximately a few minutes and uh, see what they got to say. Today I'm wearing, as you can see, uh, this fine get up of land. land. Welcome back, everyone, to Walk Away Meals with JC. Um, I'm in the middle of cutting up a fairy tale eggplant, or smaller eggplant, and putting it into a stir fry. We're making a mixed vegetable stir fry from my garden, and welcome to my backyard where we're cooking our stir fry. We're on location at my house in my backyard. One more, we're gonna cut up one more fairy tale eggplant. Don't try this at home if you're a, if you're a kid. Make sure your parents are aware of what you're doing. Okay, and you can save the scraps to put in your compost pile for later. Check it out. We have all those vegetables chopped up. Last one I like to do is okra. If you don't know what okra is, okra is kind of like a long stem style vegetable and uh, very similar a vegetable, more of like an eggplant. Similar because seeds are inside. I'm going to finish off with some rainbow Swiss char to put in here. I'd like to show you the rainbow Swiss char. It almost has like a celery effect on the stalk and it comes different colors, red, yellow, purple. And it's great to add to your meals, high in vitamins. It's almost like a kale, but with like a celery style stalk. It's very good. has quite a bitter taste though, but if you put it into a stir fry, it tastes really good when you cook it. Okra is great though. Let's put it into your meal. Into the stir fry. There we go. I'm going to use one more piece of okra here. So this is red okra. Similar to the green okra. And it grows really well around here in Tennessee. There we go. Excellent. We'll let that all cook up. Let's mix up a little bit. And I'm going to chop up a little bit of fresh basil for you. Cilantro. And also lemon basil to top it off. And I'm also, um, and I'm going to end up with putting some teriyaki sauce in here. But if you don't like teriyaki sauce, I'm going to make one meal with, with teriyaki sauce and the other one without teriyaki sauce. Because without the teriyaki sauce, there's still a lot of flavor. And I'm going to mix in some shrimp at the very end. I actually got some pre-cooked shrimp uh, just to save some time. I prefer wild shrimp, but this is actually farm-raised. So, but if you can, get wild. And also, I cooked up some quinoa. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes, and I cooked up some quinoa in a pot. And a trick to making quinoa, actually... You, you gotta take out of the package about one cup of quinoa. I put it into a strainer, take a coffee filter, put one cup of quinoa into it, rinse it in the sink, 
and none of the quinoa can escape because of the coffee filter. So you lose less quinoa and you have more for cooking. That's a little tip for you. So you rinse water over the quinoa when you're cooking and you don't lose any when you have a coffee filter. And it's about 15 to 20 minutes to cook quinoa until, and you want to cook it on low so it simmers. So you start a boil, then you put the one cup of quinoa into two cups of water, let it boil again, and then let it simmer for about 15 to 22 minutes or so until all the water is escaped from the pot. And I almost forgot the spices. Gotta kick up those spices, yeah. Okay, whew, I can hear the music now. The food music, you hear that? Oh yeah, I hear it. That's a little bit of uh, sea salt. Some black pepper, one more time. Fresh ground black pepper. Five spice seasoning from the cabinet. There we go. Gotta open it up. There we go. Don't really matter too much. And a little bit of garlic. Take a spoonful of, tablespoon of garlic. You can always add more if you're a garlic lover. There we go. That looks good. Excellent. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to Walk Away Meals with JC. There we go. Hope you're enjoying watching. And if you like, if you have any questions, you could find me on Facebook. And we'll put some of the information at the end of the show for you to find us. There we go. Very good. It's looking great. So the zucchini is actually coming, uh, is turning into, the zucchini is actually turning into a really soft vegetable. Everything will soften up as, it, as you add heat to it. And you add liquid and the heat really makes the vegetables become tender and soft. There we go. One thing I want to add, the leafy vegetables are last. Make sure you have your, stay organized too when you're cooking. Put everything wherever you want it. Move that wine out of the way. And we got some red Swiss char. Just cut it up. Whatever way you like. Smaller pieces, actually cook a little faster. There we go. Throw that in there. Okay, excellent. So while I'm cutting up the Swiss char, we're going to go to a commercial. And I'll see you right back here with Walk Away Meals with JC. See you in a little bit. Hi, and welcome back to Walk Away Meals with JC. I'm just in the process here of making a vegetable stir fry with quinoa and shrimp. So it's a shrimp stir fry with quinoa. And I'm just cutting up the rest of this uh, Swiss char. I would show you a preview of this. Great. We're going to let this cook for approximately, probably about five minutes or so. To simmer down. And you just want to keep testing it out. You can always taste a piece of the zucchini, which is the thickest, uh, thickest vegetable, to see if it's well done. Which have a nice soft texture to it. And I'm going to show the camera how it looks. What all those vegetables. This is a nice stir fry. Whew. It's like a piece of artwork, I think. There we go. We're going to be adding the shrimp in in probably about a minute or so. And if you're watching out there and want to know how to make this meal, I'll put the information for my Facebook and YouTube channel at the end of this video. There we go. And the reason why I call the show Walk Away Meals is because I use primarily a walk to cook all of my food on site. I can even come to your location and cook a meal for you. Yeah. And I like to add fun to my food and have fun because like, this reminds me of like a steel drum, like the walk. It's like... have some fun at the same time. A little bit of music. Make your own music there. But like I'm in Jamaica right now. But I'm actually in my backyard. There we go. Oh, it smells so good. Woo. Almost done. I'm loving this. Woo, woo, woo. 
Yeah. Mix it up a little bit. Great. And let's get a little basil in here. Fresh basil from outside. I actually grow this basil on my deck. Yeah. There we go. Trying to stay organized here. We're gonna chop this up while it's cooking. Some fresh basil right there. There we go. Great smell. Oh man, basil actually is a great way to reduce your stress. And also, if you put basil in warm water, in some like green tea, great way to help you relax. Because basil is an excellent source of stress reduction. And cilantro. Cilantro makes me dance. Yeah. Woo. I feel cilantro in my veins. Oh yeah. Mm. Makes me want to dance. Save the rest for garnish for later. I use almost all of it. I love basil. And I love cilantro. It's excellent. Let's mix that up. Always mix it up each time you add a new ingredient. And I like to use wooden spoons and forks just because it won't scratch my wok. And this wok is actually passed down from generation to generation. My dad actually gave me this wok over 20 years ago and it's still in great shape. It's an electric wok. I can plug it into wherever I want. So let's let that cook for a little bit. Let's go to commercial once more. And when we come back, I'm going to show you how to garnish with the shrimp and the quinoa, put it all together. And you got a shrimp stir fry with quinoa. So the shrimp stir fry is going to be on top of the quinoa, and it's going to be excellent. And we can enjoy it together. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. Welcome in. This is Getting Rip with Rusted. Now, if you're thinking, probably wondering why this guy with no education was teaching me how to work out, but I gotta tell you, if you got yourself ratchet straps, ropes, and chains, you can get a great workout. Ten, one more, good. Welcome back to Walk Away Meals with JC. So, like I said before, we're making a vegetable stir fry with shrimp. So, I'm going to add the shrimp to it in just a minute. And we're going to top it with quinoa. So, we're going to have quinoa layered with, on top, vegetable shrimp stir fry. And if you like, you can get this recipe on my Facebook page as well as the YouTube page. So, let's start off with adding that shrimp. Let's take a handful of shrimp and add it to our vegetable stir fry. It's been cooking for approximately 10 minutes, about 10 minutes or so until it gets tender. This is actually pre-cooked shrimp, but you can also have raw shrimp, but make sure you cook it before you add it to your meal. There we go. And we're going to finish off with the quinoa. First I'm going to put the quinoa, the quinoa has been cooked for about 22 minutes. And I'm going to add that first and then put the vegetable stir fry on top. I'm going to make one plate with teriyaki sauce and one without. Because if you don't, if you want to watch your salt intake, definitely the teriyaki sauce is something you want to minimize. There we go. Let's make some music. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Walk away meals are great. Fast, easy, quick, and super healthy. And this meal today is actually about 95% of it is from my garden. As you can see, we're in the backyard where my garden is, and I have to bring it to you live on location from where the healthy food has come from. So let's actually put the plate together. I want to show you a close-up of this beautiful meal. Voila. Look at that. It is great. So that shrimp, you have the mixed vegetables. About about 10 different mixed vegetables all added in with the shrimp and in the quinoa. So let's plate this meal and enjoy it. Woo. So I use different plates as you can see. There we 
pretty good. I thank you to my uh, listeners out there and watchers and supporting Walk Away Meals. It is great to have people watching and having fun with fitness, food. There we go. We're going to top that with some stir fry. So about a spoonful of quinoa. This is actually red quinoa. They do make like a yellow quinoa and a mixed tricolor quinoa. There we go. And in the backyard today, I have my two buddies, Ozzy and Riley. My two pups are watching my TV show today. There we go. And you could always uh, keep the quinoa in the fridge for at least over a week. Quinoa will last approximately a week or more in the fridge and you can use it and pretty much fill in all your meals. Instead of rice and pasta, you can use quinoa. So let's take some of this beautiful stir fry with the shrimp added without teriyaki first. Just add this. Do a little dance, do a little food dance. Woo! Mix it up a little bit, get those flavors combined. This is a fusion of food here. Let's taste first. Always taste a little bit. This is let's try. Let's taste the uh, zucchini, because zucchini is actually the hardest part to cook because it's the thickest. Mmm, that is awesome. Mmm, mmm. Wow. That lime juice, mmm. Or lemon juice, actually, sorry. Lemon juice and white wine are fabulous. Mmm. I'm getting my food workout today. Get my arm workout, get my forearms and my triceps working, even my chest with this man. Speaking about workout, at the end of each show, I'm gonna give you a fitness tip of the day. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end to get that fitness tip of the day. There we go, okay. Perfect. Let's plate this. One, I'm gonna lower the heat down here to warm. With this wok, I have temperatures from warm all the way up to like 400 degrees. And if you like more shrimp, you can always get more shrimp. There we go. Wow. Mm -mm. Beautiful looking, isn't it? Nice. Look at that. Let's add some teriyaki sauce to this one. Add an extra one for teriyaki. I want to take about a spoonful, a large spoonful of teriyaki sauce. There we go. Ah, what the heck. I'll put it in there. There's quite a bit in there. I can save it for later. That's perfect. Okay, so let's add a little bit more of this uh, shrimp stir-fry teriyaki concoction. Woohoo! That looks good. I topped it out with the regular. Excellent. Perfect. My wok here, I call him Willie. So Willie the Walk has never failed me yet. So I hope you uh, enjoyed today Walk Away Meals with JC, where we take the plant in my garden and put it on a plate. So from plant to plate, and this is Walk Away Meals with JC. And check out what we got today. Look at that. Beautiful, healthy, fresh meals done in less than a half hour. I would say only about 15, 20 minutes, you have a great meal. And you can make enough for your family inside a walk within 20 minutes. And there you go. Let's taste. Try this out. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is awesome. Mmm. I love it. Next time we shall meet again on location with JC. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day and keep it real. Bye. So today we're going to tell you hydration is important. Your body is 60% water and you need to stay hydrated. So for men, you got to drink 13 cups of fluid a day and for women, 9 cups of fluid, which is equivalent to men, 3 liters a day and women, about 2.2 liters a day of fluid, including coffee, teas, water, juices, and even your foods contain water. But you should drink at least 
most beverages pure water if you can. Uh, for men, you want to drink about a, maybe a gallon of water a day or close to it. And for women, about a half gallon, a little bit more per day. If you are active, make sure you increase your water level about maybe one liter to one and a half liters, depending on how active you are. And if you are working out for more than two hours, try to drink a sports drink that will help you get your electrolytes and also your fluid back into your system. Thank you for watching, and this is Jay's Fitness Tip of the Day. Make sure you stay hydrated and keep on watching. See you soon.